Just in time for Google I.O., Chrome 74 is landing now. It adds support for private class fields, allows you to detect when a user has requested a reduced motion experience, adds support for CSS transition events, and of course, plenty more. I'm Pete LePage. Let's dive in and see what's new for developers in Chrome 74. Class fields simplify class syntax by avoiding the need for constructor functions just to define instance properties. In Chrome 72, we added support for public class fields, and I said private class fields were in the works. I'm happy to say that they've landed in Chrome 74. The new private field syntax is similar to public fields, except that you mark the field as private by using a pound sign. Think of the pound sign as being part of the field name. Remember, private fields are just that, private. They're accessible only inside the class, but not available outside the class body. To read more about public and private class fields, check out Matthias's post on class fields linked in the post below. Some users have reported getting motion sick when viewing parallax scrolling, zooming, and other motion effects. To address this, many operating systems provide an option to reduce motion whenever possible. Chrome now provides a media query, prefers reduced motion, part of the media queries level 5 spec that makes it easy to check when this option is turned on. Imagine I have a sign up button that draws attention to itself with a slight motion. The new query lets me shut off the motion just for that button. Check out Tom's article on the new query selector linked below. The CSS transition specification requires that transition events are sent whenever a transition is enqueued starts, ends, or is canceled. The events have been supported in other browsers for a while, but uh, until now, they weren't supported in Chrome. In Chrome 74, you can now listen for transition run, transition start, transition end, and transition cancel events, making it possible to track or change behavior whenever a transition is run. Feature policies allow you to selectively enable, disable, and modify the behavior of APIs and other web features. This is done either through the feature policy header or through an allow attribute on an iframe. In Chrome 74, you can get a list of features allowed with the allowed features API. You can check if a specific feature is allowed with allows feature. And you can get a list of domains used on the current page that allow a specific feature with Get allow list for feature. Check out the introduction to feature policy post for more details. These are just a few of the changes in Chrome 74 for developers. Of course, there's plenty more. Personally, I'm pretty excited about the KV Storage API, a new, fast, async, key value storage service that's available as an origin trial. And don't forget, Google I.O. is just a few weeks away, and we'll have lots of great new stuff for you. So be sure to tune in and watch May 7th to the 9th. More details about I.O., the features I mentioned, and more are in the updates post linked in the description. If you want a reminder about the I.O. videos, click the subscribe button, and you'll get an email notification whenever we launch a new video. I'm Pete LePage, and as soon as Chrome 75 is released, be right here to tell you what's new in Chrome.